Is there anything anyone would like to do before they turn in for the evening? I need to go talk to the guild leader, Zachariah, was it? Yes, Zachariah. And we kind of already had that conversation. Yeah. So. Did you want to... Stuff that will be revealed later. Okay. Will be revealed. So yes, and... you meet with Zachariah and have that conversation that we already had. That conversation with the DM that we already had. <laughs> Anyone else like to do anything? During the evening while I'm eating, I will definitely regale the tales of the dinosaur island. <laughs> Absolutely. To anyone that wants to listen, because they're all obviously very curious. The tales of the tastiest flesh I've ever had. That's right. Uncle. <laughs> Tell them about the war, the battle. Absolutely. Regale them with the tales. Dinosaurs? No! And dragons. And dragons. Nah. Lies. Too far fetched. You went too far. Yeah, dragons aren't back. real. Dinosaurs we can believe, but dragons. <laughs> That's just crazy. I will tell you a tale of dragons. A dragon tale, if you. Dragon tale, dragon tale. We know we're a member of the dragon tale guild, but dragons aren't really bad. Miria, I would like you to make a spot check. Or a perception check. What? Uh, what? What? Uh, what? What edition are we playing again? This one's 3.5 per second. <laughs> perception. <laughs> yeah, perception. Good night. I expected as much. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because that's how you normally roll. That's why you expected it. <laughs> Which is exactly what I expected, yeah. see? That's why near, uh, all the yeah. is watching your back now. <laughs> Alna makes spot checks for Nerea now. Yes. Oh, Alna's like... Over here. <laughs> Alna's like, my wear is retarded. <laughs> I need to help her out a bit. She's really pretty, I but she's I'm really retarded. blind. <laughs> okay, that's true. If you're you just have not very brain cells, Alna has wear. Yeah, see? You're smart. You're just not... You're just not always... She's not always present. She doesn't have that mm-hmm. common sense. She's, she's a daydreamer. She has more of that, like, you know, analytical side. She's an engineer. She's lost in, in deep thought. I'm an artist. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, that'd be the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you uh, spent most of the day in this room. Again, we'd mentioned like the bulletin board thing, like where there's like a bunch of quests and wanted posters and stuff plastered up. You walked by it a couple times. You've been sitting at a table, kind of like staring off in that direction, but it's a little bit off in the distance. But people have been mostly around you and, and kind of like, you know, chatting you up and, and well, mostly bugging you from a chunk of the day. Um, I feel we already kind of did this last session where she walked up to the board and she was yeah, like looking around down. specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So, yes, yeah, so you were looking around on the board. The board's very cluttered. She rolled poorly then, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Probably. Oh, yes. I got you. <laughs> it's a safe bet. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, so that night before you go to turn in, uh, you kind of hear in the back of your head uh, the, the now familiar voice of Alma going, what, didn't you want to check out that wanted poster? Like... You kept you kept kind of glazing by it, but you never. I'm surprised you didn't take a better look. I, I guess I'll go check out the oh. one I looked. You notice it's from Lizard, so I was probably the wanted picture. For... Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, you go over to the the board, and again, like there's all these different quests that actually have stuff filled in. Of course, this is just kind of like a I was bored playing with Photoshop one day kind of thing. And yeah, hiding behind, you know, several papers, there's this wanted poster that you didn't really pay much attention to. Um, but now that you're, you know, all of this kind of drawn your attention to it, you see this kind of dead eye of this picture in the background of this wanted poster. And the memory that you had, like the dreamscape right, yeah. when you were dealing with the entity and you finally, like, the, the face fogged away and you <laughs> saw the, the face of the person that killed your uncle. Mm-hmm. That's still oh. one of like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not miser. Uh, 
that's one of those like when uh, even though like the face was revealed to you, you still have mostly been blocking it out. You haven't really been dwelling on the face, but this dead eye seems vaguely familiar to you. So you pull out the poster. That is the face of the man that killed your uncle. The tiefling douchebag. <laughs> the tiefling douchebag. I'll go up to it and rip it down. Rip it down. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a lot of gold. Heck yes. It did. So yes, it's a, a fairly or I say fairly, it's a it's a very old piece of uh, parchment with the wanted posters on printed on. You can see that there's been several modifications to it uh, over for the reward. It was originally printed with 50,000 gold. The one and then the eight over the five look like they've been added at different times. You don't know really which one came first, but they're in slightly like it looks like just red and red on there, but like slightly different inks. Mm-hmm. Um, so it looks like the people have just been upping the reward for however long since this poster has been originally posted. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's all it is, just a wanted. That's, yeah, just wanted, yeah. I guess I'll start asking around, um, if anybody knows any information on him. Okay. Asking how, how are you asking? Is. Demanding. See this guy? <laughs> 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 I can't see anything! Not I'm quite blind. that aggressive. Come here, come here, you see this, you see this guy right here? See this guy? Oh, you close the lock. <laughs> See him. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's sitting right over there. It's <laughs> <Hold> off. <on. laughs> uh, yeah. So you want to intimidate some information out of people? Yeah. Okay. Roll intimidation for me. Roll like a boss. What that is? You are proficient in that. Like Come a on. boss. Yeah, I was proficient. She's like I'm proficient in, in attacking too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's a natural twenty. Boom, Boom. It's twenty-five. 25. <laughs> All right. She is the most terrifying interrogator. So do you? Before we decide, what, well, let's figure out where you're gonna direct the information. <laughs> like, oh, crazy like that. <laughs> do you just grab the nearest person? Like, <laughs> who does number two work for? Or do you like turn and like head towards a certain uh, specific person or the closest person that looks like they have any authority, like the bartender? Yeah, I probably would head towards like more like the bartender or someone who kind of looks Bartog. like height. <laughs> what? Someone that would obviously you know have some idea of these posters and Okay. Yeah. So you you head straight for the bar Mm-mm. and uh, do your intimidation shtick. Now, is there anything specific you want to do for, like, the intimidation factor? I mean, I know you rolled well, but, like, for, like, fluff-wise. And also keep in mind, for, like, an intimidation factor, I see the fact that, like, you have Alna whose armor and coloring you can shift and stuff. Right. Yeah. And you do have the gold brand, too, so that also does help. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess I would start kind of... So, <laughs> so almost like starting out with more of like mm. a persuasion, moving mm-hmm. into an intimidation kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Okay, you want to roll the persuasion for me? Yeah. I need to know who this is. Persuasion. That doesn't last very long. <laughs> so, so I really need to tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Pretty much. It. Uh, okay, so the the bartender who is Cartog. <laughs> Bartog's my brother. <laughs> Bartog Part Two: Electric Boogaloo. There's Bartog and Cartog and Dartog and Yartog and Fartog. <laughs> Fartog's my favorite. Hi. That guy's gassy. <laughs> I'm Yartog. <laughs> what can I get ya? Yartog. <laughs> On paper it says Yartog. I guess pronounced Yar. <laughs> So yeah, so you kind of, I'm assuming, kind of basically shove the the poster in his face and like, tell me about this guy. Mm-hmm. He is easily intimidated <laughs> by your exceptional role to begin with. 
uh, 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 look, scary lady. Uh, I, I just, I don't want any trouble. Just, let's, uh, calm down, calm down. Uh, what is going on with your armor? Uh, this guy, yes. Okay, I, I know a little bit about him. That poster's been up for a long time. Uh, um, uh, uh, he, uh, the thing, uh, his name, um, uh, uh, it's, uh, I know this, I know this. So he's kind of like stammering him, you know, very, basically tripping over his own tongue. Is it Chet? <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> so his name is Maluk. 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 Got so Not my down. dude. My dude! <laughs> my Luke. <laughs> so yeah, he explains that that poster's been up longer than he's been with the guild. It's over ten years old. If not older. Uh, the reward's gone up, as you can see by the, the scribbling on the, the reward poster, or the, the wanted poster, it's gone up a couple of times. He, no one's seen or heard from him in years. He basically fell off the map. He was basically uh, like a, a warlord of this band of thugs, as you kind of, you know, had the impression of from your memories. And he was kind of causing, or he was causing a lot of trouble all over the, all over Marizin. He wasn't even really localized to any specific region, just kind of like was very whimsical and uh, chaotic and just kind of floated all over the continent, causing trouble wherever he went. And then all of a sudden just fell off the map, just kind of disappeared. And no one knows where he went or what happened to him. Everyone's assumed that he went underground or was... I mean, there was thoughts that he w he was killed, but since the reward post, you know, the reward uh, has been out for a long time, so someone assumes that he would have, you know, his reward would have been claimed. So most believe he's gone underground. Let go of his shirt. Thump. Thank you. <laughs> and walk away. <clears throat> what was up with that armor? That was crazy. Don't fuck with that chick. She's she's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so now, like at the all the people that were kind of like yammering around you that were still left in the in the room are now kind of like by the bar. Like now they're all like. <laughs> Like giving you, like they were kind of huddling around you. Now they're all like off in the corner, like whispering and kind I'll, of like pointing in your direction. Like that guy is crazy. I'll sit back down <laughs> next to Mizzer and like slam my feet up on the table, like to like disrupt them and like so they know <laughs> that I'm like I noticed. <laughs> Startles me a bit. <laughs> I finish telling my tale. So yeah, it kind of breaks the the the, the chit chatting in the background. When she comes over to sit down, to sit down, and she does that, the people that were around you listening to your tale kind of like, if they're sitting, they quickly stand. If they're standing, they quickly back up. They're very, they're giving her her space. You're able to finish your story, but then they're well, like, when I oh, see that's her, a great story. I, we gotta go. When I see her slam down her feet, is everything all right, Nerea? No. Did you hold them there? A grudge. I'll like, <laughs> yeah, I'll like slide it over and uh, I'll say this man killed my uncle and everyone in my town and tried to kill me. Mizzer punches the paper and breaks in half. He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> that paper can't hurt you. Sounds like we need to find him then. Roll an intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> <the> bartender. <laughs> Tell me everything you know! <laughs> oh god, not again! <laughs> Gourds? Mmm. <laughs> Grapes. Ooh. <laughs> Kenny picks. That's a lot. Ooh, <laughs> even better. <laughs> Mauled by cuteness. This no. is great. I'm on board. <laughs> Did he eat your uncle? 
Oh, did, did I eat your uncle? Can <laughs> 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 I? Have a, I forget what happened. Did he like? Rip, he didn't rip his heart out. He stabbed him. Yeah, stabbed him. Yeah. Ran him through. Ran him through. You tried to stuff in the middle, like in your little dream sequence, you tried to stuff in between the blade, but it didn't, it didn't stop nothing. This page was worn. It's been up for a while. Mm. Asking around, I mean, we're at the table with the paper slid over. Who would have put this poster up? Somebody obviously started the search for this man a long time ago. Oh, either the... Guildmaster or one of the uh, the mentors typically is the one that posts the all the the flyers and the wanted posters. But Perhaps I mean, we should ask one of can... them who put it there. We need some kind of a clue. Maybe we'll get lucky and he's hanging out with Gaia. Oh, I'll be calling in favors on that one then. <laughs> Oh, girl, hi, huh? Oh, could you carry him for me, please? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll grab the paper. I'll stand up pretty abruptly and start heading towards the guild leader. Okay. I'll back her up. So all of a sudden, the two... Mem- two scariest people in the room stand up and start marching towards the guild master. Nere means business. She's got her serious face on, I can tell. It's a little more gruff. <laughs> Zachariah had already returned to his room, so you'll have to go pound on his door. Doing it. I love how, like, we've all now at this point visited <laughs> like, pounded on his door. <laughs> what? He yelled out through the door, sorry. I'm just gonna keep pounding on the door. <laughs> 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 oh. Mr. opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> that makes the door is locked. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Act- <laughs> Here activates her armor. Tells Mr. to throw her through the door. <laughs> Mr. <Mister, laughs> wanted to try something real quick. Puts his hand up to the lock. And ask Akabaris if he could unlock it. <laughs> <coughs> not sure if he could or not, but I've never tried that trick before. <laughs> the lock explodes. <laughs> uh, roll a. <laughs> right? Roll a d20. First roll a charisma. What the hell are you asking me to do? Yeah. Yeah. uh, For the Uh, natural twenty. So (laughs) twenty-two. Okay. Sure, I can do that. (laughs) At least I can try. Akbaris, you seem more excited than I've ever seen before. So you easily will uh, (laughs) Akbaris into the the lock, as it were. Forms in. Now he needs to roll better than that. So you can you can kind of feel him in there fidgeting around and playing around with what's going on, and then eventually that's pretty much like kind of as Jerry sort of suggested. That's uh, he it you can feel Akabaras getting a little bit frustrated, and then just expands itself and just shatters the lock <laughs> from the inside out. So like the door doesn't explode, but like you hear the the lock first start to crack and then just like break and kind of shatter like into a bunch of pieces and then kind of fall out of the hole of the door now. I pull action bars back. I say, kicked it Thank you. open. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Let's kick it open. Mission accomplished. You kick the door in. God, I hope he's wearing pants. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't Ganyalo. <laughs> I, I think I may have broken your door. I'm sorry. Uh, what is the meaning of this? I need answers now. Haven't I given you people enough answers? Oh, I, oh, you, sorry. Yes, what can I help you with? I'm going to the wanted poster. I'll step in with uh, uh, Okay, Maluk, yes, the poster, I'm pretty, that guy's got to be dead by now. That thing's like 15 years old. Uh, 
I don't know what you want to know. At this rate, by the end we'll of the week, it the poster will be older than I am. <laughs> it's very important that we find this man. He is not dead. He's underground. That, that, we think. That's the rumor, but, I mean, like I said, I mean, the guy's been, everyone's been looking for that guy. Look at the reward in that thing. Like, they've been looking for that guy for, like, 15 years. Yes, that's a lot of fruit, but we don't care about the reward. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh. uh. <laughs> I'm sure money is a different concept than physics. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I, I. Fruit? What? Okay, um. I mean, you could try to run down some of his old contacts, I Aha. guess. Now we're getting somewhere. I mean, I'm sure that only, like, dozens of people have tried that before, but I mean, it's about the only direction I could point you, but I did, couldn't tell you anyone off the top of my head. I don't know any of his old contacts. I've never looked into trying to hunt this guy down. Do you know anybody in the guild who last would have? Years ago. I don't know anyone that's mm. been pursuing this guy. Uh... No, I, honestly, I don't think anyone that's here right now anyway is. Well, we'll just keep this with us then. All right, sure. Yeah, you can have that. I've been meaning to take it down anyways. So, yeah. I don't get the fruit thing. <laughs> Grapes. It's, it's gold. It's gold. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe it's green peppers. Gold? <laughs> how much uncle could I buy for that much? <laughs> <laughs> With that much gold, how many grapes could I have? <laughs> could I trade it for fruit? <laughs> yeah, I, I trade this money for goods and or services. Do you even know his name? Yeah, Maluk. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why everybody's been saying that word. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. No, it's right up there with grapes. <laughs> yeah, he you know ran a, a pretty nasty crew and killed a lot of people. But he ran and just disappeared. He fell off the face of the planet, as far as I know. So I assumed he's been dead. Well, I know there's rumors that he went underground because no one can can fathom that someone would kill him. And not turn in the reward, but he had a lot of enemies, and not all those enemies can come forward and collect a reward, so. He has two more now, looking at Neria. <laughs> Is she, she's two people? Mm. Oh, both of you. Gotcha. With her. Okay. And she's really upset about it. <laughs> <this. laughs> she's got two more now. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I wish I could be more help. I I really am sorry about your door. I was just trying something. It's new. fine. You guys will be gone in the morning, as I understand. I'll get someone to mend it. Yeah, if only somebody here at the table had mending. Gerald! <laughs> 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 There's not a lot of broken stuff around us. Unless we want it that way. There wasn't the shit. <laughs> that was a nice shit. Oh, man. You're going to leave. I start to leave behind, but a little bit slower. And then over my shoulder, look at Zachariah and say, This man killed her entire family. It's important that we find him. Any information you may be able to dig up that can at least point us in the right direction before tomorrow would be very helpful. And then I'll leave as well. See what I can do. Bye. He, like, shuts his door, but, like, it's one of those <laughs> things where, like, the door hinges click, slash click. the floor or whatever aren't 100% level, so, like, he closes it, but then since it doesn't <laughs> latch, it just starts to swing open again. <laughs> just a sigh of disappointment. <clears throat> Apparently my door, I have an open door policy. No. <laughs> Anyone else want to come talk to me? The next time, like he's gonna have guys fix it, then we're gonna bust it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> so one of those moments, just over and over. 
All right, so, anyone else have anything that they'd like to do before they turn in for the evening? Uh, I mean, I didn't figure my little banner would take all that long. No, you have a welcome Clovis banner prepared. <laughs> People are staring at you strange. Welcome Clovis too. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you a wide berth, you're like, he's crazy. He's, he's, he must be special. Who's and fine print on the bottom, it says, we be in the Feywild. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You are going to have you all turn in for the night. Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, okay. But, well, yeah. in my room for the night, I want to try to have a conversation with the thing in my bracers. <laughs> with the thing. <coughs> I feel like there's, there's petri dishes and batteries and just like all sorts of things. <laughs> without trying to coax it out with pain. I know they've spoken, so I want to try to speak to mine. Okay. Is this a conversation you want to have aloud, <laughs> or do you want to just say that it's happening? Very well, either way. Okay. Well, just remember that even if you don't want to roleplay, right? Because I know, I mean, we've already had the conversation, yeah. you know, so, like, you can remember that you yeah. is the overly reasonable <laughs> demeanor, so you will likely be receptive to most things that you have to say. And really, although, just the big, the main point of it is uh, I want to know if he can sense the others. Okay, well, that's actually a really interesting question. He is going to respond with, yes. In fact, we seem to be connected to each other now that since you've received that gold brand. While you are all able to talk to each other, now apparently we are able to talk to each other. Now, there is also a fifth. Can you sense him? He does not have the brand. If he gets close, we'll be able to sense his presence naturally, but only when he gets close... And probably too close for it to be of any real use. That was actually what I, one of what I wanted you to do is to keep an eye out, and if the fifth comes near, to let me know. Yeah, absolutely. On the condition. And just one, <laughs> just one other thing. That you stop. Just like, We're both well, <laughs> prior to this, uh, since we had the long version with Jared, but I'll give the. The short version with, uh, just for you guys and for the audience. Um, our souls are bonded, but my soul is already promised to CERN. So it would be in his best interest to separate us beforehand so that he doesn't have to spend eternity in a celestial realm, because that can't be pleasant for him. Which means if he works with me, I promise that I'm not going to hurt him, but we're going to be looking for a way to split and separate. Oh, see? <laughs> We're already on the same page. <laughs> He's starting to... It's like this overly reasonable thing starting to rub off on Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds reasonable, sir. <laughs> Tristan has a dream during the night. Tristan Vestor. Stormmane. Former junior cleric of the Lightning Hound. Member of the Silver and Golden Dragon Tail Guild. Former subject of Tempest. Wielder of Saltaris, prophesied star count, my chosen. You sadden me. I know your heart. I know you feel attacked. I know you feel hurt. I know you think of leaving, but I also know you cannot. The party needs you. You are a vital piece of this group. You are the bedrock, the foundation. The party must build and stand upon your unwavering strength. Love, acceptance, and understanding, those will be your tools. Bring love where there is hate. Bring understanding where there is ignorance. Bring acceptance where there is intolerance. Only then will you bring change. Only then will you bring enlightenment. Baratha needs the Dark Hounds. But the Dark Hounds need you. 
Be the hero I know you to be, and in turn, inspire the others to rise up and reach their potential. Unity is key. Only as one will you succeed. You all awake the next morning. Colossus. Tristan has had his dream. The rest of you awake refreshed. And can set your spells however you need to, even though I'm pretty sure you already did. Zachariah comes and greets each of you as you come out of your... Actually, he goes and knocks on each of your doors. You're all given your own room. He gently knocks on each door in that morning. Whenever you're ready, we have some breakfast. You know, we can get you some supplies, whatever you need. And you can be on your way. No, no, no. Cheese wheel. All right. Sure. I'll go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Got some snacks and off we go. Trailmix. Trailmix. Or the has m ms I'm not down for breakfast. <laughs> Trailmix, you mean m ms with obstacles? <laughs> <laughs> Does Tristan come out to join the others? Um, I have a few things to prepare first, but I'll, uh, I'll meet them when it's time to go. Okay. Exploding room. <laughs> uh, Zachariah sits down with the three of you, who I'm assuming the three of you are all sitting down having breakfast. And he slides a piece of paper over to Neria. He's the last one that I was able to find <coughs> information on that had looked into Maluk. He's a good investigator. If anyone would have turned anything up that's remotely useful, it would have been him. But I'm going to be honest with you, if he couldn't find him, then good luck. I don't know how we'd be able to to track him any better than, than this guy, but... We found fucking dragons. Touche. Yeah. Or did dragons find you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> grapes. It's a lot of grapes. But they all have seeds. No. <laughs> They're not seedless grapes. They're of no use to me. <laughs> but you could plant the seeds. Ooh. Misery's going into the wine making business. So he's going to retire. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, if you read the piece of paper, it has a name on it. It says that he's in. Uh, Supposedly, uh, his name is uh, Halran Kane. 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 And his last known whereabouts was actually at the uh, Adventurers Guild, the Blades Guild in uh, Low Water on the Isle of Graylin. He, he, Zachariah wishes you the best of luck. Sorry about your, you know, the news of, to, you know, sorry to hear that, you know, this bastard killed your family and all your friends and uh if he is alive i hope you find him and give him a murdery death yeah, okay <laughs> yes he will thank you kill again <laughs> girl's just sitting there kind of eating mildly confused like <laughs> what is happening right now okay <laughs> this is <a> awkward <laughs> what did i miss <laughs> So, you all eat your breakfast. Everyone is leaving you all alone. The, the rumor of, of Miria being in a, a little bit of a mad mood last night with her companion of, of Mizzer having her back, though seemed to be in a jovial mood, also moving with uh, purpose in sync with Miria. People have decided to just probably just give you some space. I think they, they feel like the last straw was when you like broke into the guild master. Like they just broke into the guild master's room, and he didn't even do anything about it. <laughs> so like, let's just leave them alone. It was an accidental break in. I didn't mean accidental. to break in. <laughs> I just meant to like break in. I didn't mean to break in. More like just get in. Yeah. I wanted to pick the lock, and I ended up sort of kind of <sighs> kicking in the door. 
We might have broken the go master's door. It wasn't our fault. Zakabars. Uh, he did it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay. So, what's this about killing people and uh, dead families? Oh, I can do my wanted poster. This is the man that killed my uncle. And my heritage. Okay, so what's the problem? So where is he? I don't know. That's the information we were trying to get from the guildmaster. He was a little reluctant to give it to us. He knows nothing. Stupid. He really doesn't know much. But we have a name now, Hal Rand. Well, as far as tieflings go, they're generally rather charismatic. Um, and an attractive individual such as that, I'm sure attracts a lot of attention, either female, Male as well, I guess, depending on what his taste are. I'd suggest finding where, where he might have hooked up with people. Those are usually the easiest ways to get information from somebody. Or about somebody. Can you like... Well, then you have your... Junior detective with you over there. <laughs> he doesn't look very nice. So after we get back from the Fey, I suggest that we go to Greyland. But we'll see how current activities play out to the Fey. <sighs> Yes, indeed. Tristan? Tristan, get your ass down here. Beep, beep. We're leaving. <laughs> I'll go to Tristan's room and ask if he's okay. I'll be out in a moment. And Just getting my stuff together. Explode. So yeah, uh, Lucian and Zachariah are just chilling back. A lot of the guild members have been kind of like convening around them in like the back corner of like the main guild hall. Like, a, ooh, what's going on? Kind of like, yeah. So, like, so are you guys, you're getting these guys out of here? Like, do we really want to get them out of here? Like. These, some of these, I mean, she's got some anger issues, it seems like, and that guy's big, but, like, we've seen Bra before, so I guess it's not too freaky, but, like, he's pretty big. I'm big they got some bro. freaky things going on, but, like, why are we sending them away? Just shut up and just, like, that's what they want, so they're gonna go. So, I guess eventually I will come down. Um, makeover, like, though. Uh, rather than his armor traveling clothes that you're used to, he's, you can actually see, a, he still has the armor on, but he's wearing full priest robe over it as well. Um, his hair was long and has now been cut short. Um, it's kind of crude, so you kind of get the guess that it was like this morning with a dagger in his room. And the Hound's Medallion that he normally wears, he is not have. The Hound's Medallion? Yeah, from his Mercenary place. Guild? Yeah. Oh. Place I guess I didn't even know about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, actually, it's it's on the character drawing. I just can't mm -hmm. show you on the side. <laughs> Oh, the picture of uh, the original, yeah, yeah the stormy I picture. Do you do? Turn the keyboard on. Stormy. The gold so, yeah, the medallion, yeah. the hound's the medallion there. Yeah. 
Tristan, your hair! It's not there anymore. I like the look. Thank you. It'll be much cooler. Yeah, I should get a haircut. I'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a lot to uh, to work on. A lot of dagger. Scream. <laughs> <laughs> Zachariah? There's yes. A change in my plans. I will be traveling with them instead. So you're not staying? No. No? It's your choice. We would have gl- gladly taken you, but. You could have been a great asset, but I understand you wanting to stay with your companions. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. this and then that. I don't think you had a choice. <laughs> we always have choices. Mm. Hmm. I'm mildly disappointed, but okay. <laughs> not, not something I, you know, completely unexpected from from you, Storm Main, but you know, we work what we got. So as you say, I've decided to go with them. There is a loud, booming thunder that can be heard through the, you know, inside the guild hall. Coming from the sky above, then you hear the crack of lightning. And it's almost, it looks as if lightning struck through the the roof of the guild hall into the guild hall, but it didn't actually cause any damage. You just see this flash of light. And then sticking in the ground right before Tristan is an axe. So I'll take it. Yep. As you pick it up, you feel a warmth kind of course through your hand and up your arm, and you hear CERN's words. Use it well. Oh. That's the last of what I needed to pick up before we go. I have already decided to go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys like me just don't fall from the sky, you know. Uh, big ass naked titty women don't have this fall from the sky. <laughs> What's that from? Uh, Dogma. Dogma. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So, Lucian and Zachariah step forward. Lucian sort of just kind of parts his hands, and you see like a lot of the tables and chairs in the middle of the guild hall just kind of shift out of the way. Begins casting a spell, and boom, opens up a a portal for you all to step through. On the other side, you see per, uh, hues of purple and pink grass and trees, all the foliage that would be normally green is all different shades of pink, violet, purple. As soon as it's big enough, Miser would have died. you right instantly the recognize as the Feywild, you instantly recognize as the Feywild. Miser, far too excited, would jump right through as soon as it's big enough. <laughs> so, I, yeah, so I'll uh, kind of step in front of these two and be like, so as uh, the elf mentioned, do not try to go out of your way to kill anything. It'd be nice if we could make it through here peacefully as wildlife is still wildlife. Lead the way. Step through and slaughtered squirrels everywhere. Miser can't stop. Girl will kind of look you up and down. <laughs> I'm just still kind of like looking, kind of look at the <coughs> axe be like. <coughs> well, I may not necessarily be comfortable about your decision to leave us and then come back. Your honesty is appreciated, but obviously CERN has something important for you, so... Right now I will trust her judgment. And we'll kind of like motion for you two to head on through. So, uh, I'll hug you, Tristan, and grab your hand and say, shall we? Let's get going. I kind of look back to Zachariah before I go through. Keep an eye out. He comes unexpectedly. He turns around and sees your banner hanging. <laughs> <laughs> it turns back, I'm already gone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Get back here, you fat bearded bitch! <laughs> Womp, the gate closes behind you. You are in the Feywild. 